Hello there. Welcome to Zion National Park. My name is Zach Petrowski, a graduating senior from California State University, Sacramento. And I'm spending my summer as an intern here at Zion. Interning out here for the summer was actually the first time I ever visited Zion National Park. And it being the hottest time of the year and in the middle of the desert, I was fascinated to learn that this park harbors a few beautiful small waterfalls year round. But what if I told you that unlike most waterfalls, the water from these falls doesn't come from a flowing river, but rather the water comes straight out of the rock? Still not impressed yet? Well, what if I told you that water falling from these rocks can be hundreds if not thousands of years old? In fact, the water pouring right behind me first fell from the sky as rain and snow approximately 4,000 years ago. Now, think about that for a minute. Water which fell from the sky when the Egyptians were building the pyramids, is just now making it to the desert floor. I know what you're thinking right about now. Zach, how is that even possible? Well, the answer to that question surprisingly isn't in the water, but actually encased in the layers of Zion's geologic record. And not just figuratively, but quite literally. You see, we have a couple geologic layers at work here. First, we have the magnificent Navajo sandstone. The sandstone, which towers triumphantly to the heavens, is the remnants of an ancient sand dune desert comparable to that of the modern-day Sahara. Below the sandstone, however, is the older Cayenta mudstone, a much more dense but crumbly sedimentary layer. And now you're thinking, but Zach, what does this have to do with waterfalls? All right, I'll tell you. The sandstone is very permeable to water. In other words, a lot of water that falls from the sky in the form of rain and snow seeps down through the sandstone. If you were to look at the sandstone under a microscope, the sand grains would look something like a bunch of round marbles stacked on one another. Notice all the air pockets in between? That's where water, which falls from the sky, eventually makes its way through the sandstone, a process taking hundreds or even thousands of years. That is, until the water reaches the Cayenta mudstone, which is more dense, almost like a brick wall, and is much harder for water to penetrate. Now, if you were to look at the mudstone under a microscope, it would be much more compact, looking almost like this. Now compare that to the marble-like sandstone. What happens when the water reaches the mudstone is that the water can't go any further, saturating the sandstone like a sponge, sometimes creating aquifers or water tables inside the sandstone. The water inside the sandstone then moves laterally to reach the cliff face to emerge as seeps and springs, which can then gather in pools to form small waterfalls. When you come visit Zion National Park, you can see for yourself some of the surprising aquatic features we have here, such as weeping rock, emerald pools, or even the seeps along the riverside walk. It's impressive, really. How even here, in the middle of an unforgiving desert, water flows freely, straight from the rocks. <laughs>